Okay, this is the game is on 100 here with a video, and this video is my uh, correction video um, of, I made uh, yesterday concerning the uh, NFL's top 100 list that was say from the past, you know, from the 40 to 31 that was released. Um, I did uh, yesterday. I had a rant on there that was a little off. For uh, on the list, I got uh, the defensive back a uh, little difference. Um, I must have seen something in the wrong uh, numbers or whatever. Um, I want to apologize for that video yesterday that I made. I just I didn't realize that I had uh, that I was looking at the wrong stats and I was looking at the wrong player for that uh, pick. Um, I, I found out that uh, that Patrick Peterson was ahead of Charles Tillman on the on the quarterback, not. Uh, not Richard Sherman. I apologize for the for my rant yesterday for uh, Richard Sherman, but uh, I must have got the names uh, mixed up. Um, I noticed I seen cornerback. I must not have looked at uh, Patrick Peterson on the list. I probably was looking at uh, I was looking at something else, and it got me sidetracked. But this is my uh, uh, review of that. Uh, for Charles Tillman and Patrick Peterson, according to these uh, numbers from uh, from this, uh, Patrick uh, Peterson um, had a had a productive year uh, this past year in 2012. From his stats, uh, he played 16 games, 52 solo tackles for three assists for 55 yards. Uh, not 55 yards, 55 total tackles. Um, he didn't have any sets. He had seven interceptions for 64 yards. He didn't have any interception returns. He had a fumble recovery. He had 17 pass deflections. And he ended up with a 426 kick return, punt return yards. So, uh, with that, I'd say Charles Tillman, I would have to say, was better than... Uh, than Patrick Peterson on this. I know I was wrong when I did up my video yesterday on just on a Richard Sherman yesterday. Um, I was wrong with that. Um, <clears throat> like I said, like I would probably would have said that the sh that uh, Patrick Peterson uh, should be uh, lower on this. They should have Justin uh, Richard Sherman up on this than more than Patrick Peterson. Because Patrick Peterson only played only two seasons in the uh, NFL, and Charles Tillman played ten years in the NFL. Um, there's my uh, dis uh, displeasure with this. Um, with this being Charles Tillman number 34, Patrick Peterson 33. Um, Patrick Peterson should be in the mid where uh, where Richard Sherman was at as for the cornerbacks in the NFL. Um, Basically, Charles Tillman had better overall in tackles, even though he had more interceptions, but he didn't return an interception for a touchdown. He had one less of a pass deflection than Charles Tillman did last, this past year, and uh, somehow he's one above Charles Tillman. So with that, with that being said... Um, I want to, like I said, I want to apologize for my uh, remark yesterday on uh, Richard Sherman. Uh, Richard Sherman, I looked at his stats. He should be much higher on the list of NFL Top 100. I want to apologize to the Seattle Seahawks um, fans for uh, putting out my displeasure. But I just overlooked it and I made a mistake. I'm flawed. It happens. I make, uh, make a mistake every now and then. But no one's not uh, no one's not perfect. So I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take uh, the blame for my video yesterday. I wasn't accurate with my video, but my honest opinion: Charles Tillman should be above Patrick Peterson, and Patrick Peterson should be at the spot where Richard Sherman is, and Richard Sherman should be on the on the list in the in the 30 range of the. Uh, the NFL's top 100. That's just my opinion. Uh, just l give me your guys' uh, comments and your feedbacks. And uh, I just want to say 
that I apologize for my video yesterday. I got the wrong player mentioned. Um, nothing to uh, Richard Sherman. He is a fine player, but I was looking at the at the at the player wrong. I didn't notice it, but until today, and uh, and all that's all I gotta say for that. So. This is the Game is on 100. I am out later.